Hey friends, Pastor Brian Diffie here uh, from First United Methodist Church, Crossett, Arkansas. Uh, I'm excited uh, to share with you uh, some uh, announcements of, of things that are happening within the life of our church wonderful opportunities for you uh, to get engaged with not only worship, but also mission and ministry opportunities uh, to the larger world. Uh, the first thing I would like to share with you is that I have begun, uh, starting with last week, a video devotion every week utilizing uh, the Upper Room uh, Daily Devotional. Each week on Wednesday, uh, you will have the opportunity to uh, grab a physical copy of the Upper Room or look at it online and join me as I spend a little time uh, reflecting upon the devotion and adding a little bit uh, of my own uh, thoughts and reflections to it uh, to encourage and to inspire us uh, as a congregation as we grow, as we mature in our discipleship. And I'd also like to encourage you uh, to maybe not only watch this video yourself, but share it with someone else. You know, the whole goal of our faith is to take what Christ has given to us and to share it with someone else. So maybe you want to share the video. Maybe you want to pick up a physical copy of The Upper Room. If you don't have one and you would like one, or if you would like one for a friend, then please let me know. I would be happy to drop them off. We have several uh, copies uh, left over for uh, th th this month. I think it, it, it runs uh, September, October, so you've got the whole month of October uh, left that you can uh, read a devotion every day to enrich your life and also to be able to encourage you to share with others. So I hope that you will take this opportunity to watch and also to share uh, this video with others because I know in you doing that, you will grow and you will be blessed. The second thing that I'm excited to uh, share with you is that uh, we're going to the pumpkin patch again this year. I knew that for a while with the COVID-19 uh, thing going on, it was questionable whether or not we would be able to even offer this as an opportunity of fellowship for our church. But let me tell you, your relaunch team, along with our children's uh, director, uh, Cassidy Manser, has really been working hard trying to uh, make this uh, a, a reality. Uh, there are going to be some things uh, this, this year that, you, that will be noticeably different. Uh, we will not be running the van this year. Uh, we just can't do that. Uh, with COVID-19, it's, it's just not safe. But we are inviting you as your families uh, to come to the pumpkin patch, the old Milo pumpkin patch. We will gather there at 530. Uh, there will be pizza. We will have drinks. Uh, we're asking everyone, uh, even though we will all be there as a church family, to keep in mind uh, your distance. Uh, we, we encourage you to visit with others, but just but just do it in a safe manner. Masks will be required. So if you come to the pumpkin patch, please, please don't, uh, don't forget your mask. Uh, we will probably also have some on hand just in case someone comes and they don't have a mask. We want everyone to be masked up while we are there. And I know that this is going to be a great time of fun, food, and fellowship. Uh, this, uh, the third thing I want to share with you is that right now we are still making plans for our fall festival. I know that the relaunch team has been looking at the proposals uh, that have been shared with the children that from the children's committee. Uh, so uh, that is supposed to take place on October the 25th, uh, which is the Sunday before um, Halloween. Uh, Safety protocols will be um, in uh, place, uh, so masks will be worn, uh, social distancing uh, will be adhered to, and we're looking at some fun, safe 
games uh, that everyone can be involved in uh, to have fun, but also, as I said, uh, be safe. So that's coming up on October the 25th. I do know that we are working on some online reservation uh, platforms. We may be using Sign Up Genius. Uh, we may be asking you to register whether or not you are going to be coming either to the Pumpkin Patch or to Fall Festival. This is a different year. Used to, we could have anybody and everybody show up. Now, we, we kind of need to know what uh, who's going to be showing up uh, so that we can plan accordingly, so that, you know, you may not feel safe in coming. So we don't want to provide enough food for 30 people and 10 people show up. It's just going to help us. So uh, we may be sending out that information uh, in for you to help us know whether or not you are going to be uh, coming or not. Um, this Sunday, uh, I will be continuing our uh, sermon series on John Bunyan's The Pilgrim's Progress. I have certainly been encouraged uh, through uh, this sermon series, and so we're going to continue this week uh, with the uh, next uh, sermon in this series. Uh, if you don't already know, we are uh, having live in-person worship services. We've been doing this for several weeks now. Uh, we have grown in numbers. Uh, we are averaging somewhere around 25 to 30 in the sanctuary on Sunday mornings. Uh, this past Sunday was uh, Communion Sunday. Uh, so we did have a few people that gathered on the back parking lot that either listened to the service uh, through our FM transmitter or uh, they were able to watch on their phone or their iPad or some other type of device. We are providing this opportunity every Communion Sunday because we know that there are some people who are just not comfortable with coming back to church yet. And that's okay. That's why we are uh, uh, live streaming our videos on YouTube and using our FM transmitter. If you don't feel safe entering the walls of the church, we don't want that to be a hindrance to you being able to participate um, in morning worship. So every Communion Sunday, Throughout the duration of this uh, COVID-19 pandemic, we are going to be allowing people to come to the back parking lot. You will enter, you'll get your uh, pre-made uh, cup with the wafer in it, and you will be able to participate in the sacrament at the same time that the people inside the sanctuary participate in the sacrament. So we're going to continue to do that throughout the duration of uh, this pandemic because we don't want anyone to miss out on that uh, opportunity. Uh, we are still continuing with our evening parking lot uh, worship services. Uh, those are probably going to have to be moved up. Uh, we've been doing it at 7 o'clock, but if you know at this time of year, it starts getting dark earlier and earlier. So we will kind of adjust that and let you know. Uh, right now, we have the last parking lot worship service, I think, uh, scheduled for the 18th of October but we will let you know if it's going to continue. But right now, we're thinking to allow the parking lot worship, since it's getting colder outside, uh, to let the 18th be the last one that we do at night. Those are all of the things that are coming up within the next couple of weeks, but I'm excited looking towards the end of the Pilgrim's Progress sermon series. Not that I want it to end or anything, because it is a great book, and it's a great sermon series. And let me just say as an aside, if you haven't been following along in the book, I encourage you to do so. I sent out an email here a while back, and I may resend it. 
uh, to uh, share with you where you can get a free copy of The Pilgrim's Progress as well as an audio book. But I think it just does the sermon justice on Sunday morning. If you kind of already know in the book where we're headed, then I, in the sermon, can kind of fill in the gaps and share with us what God might be saying to us uh, through the writings of uh, John Bunyan. Uh, but, as I said, I I'm excited about the end of the sermon series because we're going to have a movie night. And this is the movie that we're going to watch. This movie came out several years ago. It is a movie on the Pilgrim's Progress. It is an animated movie, but don't let that keep you away. Animation has come a long way. This is a fantastic movie. So, mark your calendars, November 22nd. I know it's going to be cold, but we may have some fire pits and some other uh, ways of, of bringing heat. Uh, we're going to be socially distanced. We're going to be wearing our masks. But this is going to be a wonderful opportunity for us to gather together as a church family and watch a movie. We're going to be doing it outdoors. We're going to be doing it on the lawn right next to the fellowship hall uh, where the volleyball net is. We have a way to put a screen on the wall. We have a projector. We have a uh, computer. Uh, we have everything that we need uh, to be able to watch a movie. In fact, the youth did it here a while back. They uh, watched Overcomer, and that's a fantastic movie too if you haven't watched that. But we're going to be gathering together and we're going to be watching this movie as a church family to sum up our uh, Pilgrim's Progress sermon series. And this is going to be the Sunday right before we start Advent. So what a wonderful way to end uh, the Pilgrim's Progress sermon series and then move right the next Sunday into the season of Advent. But I just want to encourage you. I've given you lots of things, lots of opportunities, lots of, of, of worship uh, opportunities as well. I want to encourage you to be engaged, to continue to show up. Whether that be in person or online, show up, participate. Let us know that you're participating. Because our goal as a church is to equip you as you grow in faith, as you grow in your discipleship, we want to help you be who it is that God created you to be. We want you to be equipped with God, what, with what God wants you to be equipped with, and we want to give you the tools so that you can be a disciple who goes forth and makes disciples. And the only way that you can do that is for you to be engaged, for you to show up and participate when we do the Upper Room Daily Devotional or the, the Wednesday Devotional, for you to show up either in person or online on Sunday and participate and let us know that you're participating, to respond to our emails, to respond to our Facebook posts, to share our emails, to share our Facebook posts, to show up to the Pumpkin Patch and Fall Festival and and, and register your attendance and, and maybe bring a friend and show up for our Pilgrim's Progress. But however you choose to do that, Pray that you will be engaged. And, and, and I want to say this as the pastor of this church. I have been very encouraged during COVID-19 of your financial commitment to this church. I think we're better off financially now than we were prior to the pandemic. But you know what? I want us to be as spiritually sound as we are financially. I want us to be as spiritually and as emotionally and as physically committed as we are financially. Because when we bring those two things together, when we bring together our full and total commitment, 
You, as my mom used to say, you hide and watch. God's going to be up to something great. So I just wanted to encourage you. I just wanted to let you know some things that are going on. And if there's any way that, that I can pray for you, that I can be there for you, then, then please let me know. I hope that you have a great day. I hope that you have a blessed day. And I hope that I can see you soon. Amen.